Hello YouTube, we're rebuilding our gauge panel. There's the new switch. Uh, I can get to that toggle switch down there now. I'm going to replace it uh, for lights or whatever. There's also a hole over here. Okay, see them things that hold them square nuts? we got to rebuild one because we can't get our arm down there unless you take the battery out. We're going to try to rebuild one of them clips. You see the shaft how far that step is down there? Well, I'm going to show you the bushing, which sort of sets in that area. So, we'll show you what we had to do to repair the bushing that goes into it. So this might help somebody who has one of these tractors, 7 16 Hydromatic Ellis Chambers. Now, see that? That's orange over blue. When we go and look at the dash, it has blue over orange. So, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to solve the mystery. There you go. Let's go inside and we'll show you what we're working on. Let me snap one photo of this for my reference. Okay, that's the dash panel. We have we have two of these. The other one we're just going to reach in there. But we're going to try to get that in there. That's I don't know if you could ever buy these. They make the ones like for cars that just slide over. I don't know if they make them that small. That's a quarter inch bolt. Okie dokie. Here's the dash panel, okay? Now here's the part, and I'm going to take this and show you this bushing. I already put it on there and figured out where it goes. I crammed it back in the hole, and I put epoxy on it, okay? And we're going to show you the back of it and how it adjusts. Let me get my meter out of here. This meter says 2013. I'll probably never hook it up. It even has a light in it. I thought I'd show you that. No, it has a date on it. If you want to pause. Anyway, back to the subject. When you turn around, here's your adjustment. Okay, we're going to go try to fit it down on there, okay? And get it where it adjusts pretty good. Then we're going to tighten the nuts up. But we're going to primer it first. So when we go to paint, we're probably just going to mask around this. Because we might have to mow this thing before. Uh, I have two other options to mow, so I doubt that. I can pull a push mower with the John Deere. i got a self-propelled mower, but... We don't plan on mowing anytime soon. It ain't supposed to rain until the weekend. One more time. We'll turn it around. See the big washers? There is slots in here. Okay. Hope you can see them. See them in there? They're just slotted. So this thing can go. So we're going to go try to fit it on there. You know, kind of have these snug. And if we get it where we want, then we'll just mark it somehow. You know, to let us know. Like maybe a Sharpie back here. So we put it back on. There you go. That's like a punch out plug, like something went there. It wobbles a little bit. It's like this side's loose. There's some kind of optional gauge. We'll scuff this up a little better. We'll shoot a little primer back here. We're not too particular. It's just an old garden tractor. There you go. Okay. So you got some photos of that. Pictures in your mind. Okie dokie. Let's pause, and I don't know how much more we'll add to this. We just want to show you how we epoxy that back in there. See all that epoxy all over it? And it is a bronze bushing set in rubber. Bronze, whatever, plated. I will take a couple photos of that, though, so you can see how I repaired it. And my battery symbol's low, so stay tuned. We'll come back for a couple other things or whatever, a couple other pictures of it today. But that's my project for today before it gets hot. It is hot. It's going to be 60 some dew point, almost 90 degrees. So let's talk. More work. Okay, right in the middle is perfect. We've been covering this thing up with a tarp. Even though we got a tarp above our head up here. The hole's kind of walled out. So there's going to be a little bit of play in the steering wheel, on the steering wheel. But I said that bushing had fell down in there. So that's how far it could slop. We will put grease on that, of course. So we figured the middle of the slots was perfect. And we got one of them nuts to go in. Had to take a screwdriver and push on on the clip. Really hard to get the pop up in there. We'll pause. We'll take this part and show you it, the clip again. Okay, there's the clips. See, that one I can reach in there. Clip. Clip. We'll make sure the bolts go in good. They came out good. There you go. That means we can primer and paint this thing. Like I said. Right in the middle is the best. See where the washes are? 
there we go that's the end of this video we'll leave you some pictures might just see it primer we don't have no paint yet so we're just making little videos on this some of you might need some help doing that see where the epoxy squished up through there it'll hold see where that's got a step i'll show that where it can't fall all the way down i know it's grungy down in there we can get this switch out see we're gonna put a brand new little mini switch in there before we're done and run the wires out so they go over towards the battery so we don't have to get because we can't get our gas tank out of where the fitting is so there you go thanks for watching